Hello, today we are going to talk about integers. Um, just get some basic understanding about what integers are. First, the proper definition here says that it's a number that is expressible in the form of A or opposite of A. This negative sign means opposite of A for some whole number. So in other words, it's a whole number that um, is either going to be positive or negative. And there are some words for negative. Uh, a few of the most common ones with Drew or below. Any word that involves a value declining would be a negative word, whereas the opposite of that would be positive words. Um, some common ones, deposit and above sea level. These, again, positive words would be represented by any words that would um, show a quantity increasing. Um, on a number line, we have zero. Zero separates negative integers and positive integers. Your negative integers are going to be on the left-hand side of the zero, while your positives will be on the right. Most of us are pretty familiar with positive numbers and how they look on the number line. They start you know, with one and go up gradually, one by one. Integers also go up one by one as you go from left to right, but in order to place them on a number line, it's a little opposite than positives. So right behind the zero is going to be a negative one. And then right behind the negative one is a negative two. Right behind the negative two, negative three. So you see negatives kind of go backwards than what we're used to on a number line. Next thing I want to talk to you about, um, opposites. The proper definition of opposites, opposites are numbers that are equal in distance away from zero. So in other words, if you have an opposite pair, one is going to be to the right of the zero while the other will be to the left of the zero, making them opposites. It's important to know that opposite pairs will have opposite signs, positive and negative. So an example, if someone asked me, what's the opposite of three, positive three? Well, I know that positive three is one, two, three places away from zero. So positive three lies three places to the right. So the opposite of positive three would have to go three places to the left, ending at negative three. Therefore, positive three and negative three will be an example of an opposite pair. Last thing I want to talk to you about, absolute value. The proper definition, absolute value is the distance of a quantity from zero. So in other words, it's how far a number is away from zero on a number line. Absolute value will be symbolized by having two straight lines around the number. So it will look something like this where n could represent any number. So for example, if I gave you a problem that looked like this, we have three with straight bars around it, I'm asking you what is the absolute value of three? In other words, how far is three away from zero on the number line? Well, if you remember the previous example, positive three was three places away from zero on the number line. Therefore, the absolute value of three is three. Now, sometimes they may put what you may um, consider or used to calling the negative sign in front of the absolute value notation. Basically, that negative sign just means opposite of. And we talked about that earlier. Negative means opposite of. So they're asking you, what is the opposite, I'm sorry, opposite of the absolute value of four? So again, the opposite of the absolute value of four. Well, we just learned that four is four places away from zero on the number line. But the opposite is what they're asking for. What is the opposite of that absolute value? So the opposite would be negative four.